Hi, this is Angela Lin from the University of Alaska Museum of the North Ethnology and History Department. And I'm gonna give you a short video here on how to take someone who was formerly converted to a verbatim agent and reassign an agent role and apply it to a group of records. In early 2023, um, we, Eric just went through a conversion process of moving uh, low data agent records into uh, verbatim agents. And you'll come across a record every now and again uh, that will have this. And you may want to uh, go in and find biographical information and create a new agent record for that individual because you have found things like their birth and death dates and where they were from and maybe some interesting biographical information. And so now this can be considered a high quality, high data agent and we wanna reconnect that person with a number of records that they uh, are connected to. So we're gonna click on the search button here, which will give you a list of any of the other records that they were formerly associated with. Now you're gonna very easily go to the tools menu here and you're going to manage collectors. We can see that the maker column, which we now refer to as the creator, uh, is empty and so we know that this is going to be a good new addition. So we're going to add this person's name here, Adolf. And one of the things that we found out was that this name was uh, incorrectly transcribed formerly. And so we're going to include the new up-to-date spelling of this individual. So we've got his name there that pulled from his agent record. I'm going to assign him the creator role and I'm going to apply the, the first order uh, as opposed to the last because there is no one else there. And then you're simply going to push the button that says insert agent. Okay, so that, that has happened. Now you can close that window. You can go back to your records and you're going to double check and see. Yes, in fact, he has now had that new creator uh, role reassigned. Um, you can, at this point, if there's only one um, verbatim agent um, record, you can, and, and all the information is exactly the same, you could go ahead and delete um, this verbatim agent assignment here. But because this uh, name is different from the original name, um, I'm gonna go ahead and keep that verbatim agent linked in there. And that helps to support uh, the AKA and the note that I added to his biographical summary here on his agent record, uh, just to kind of explain the discrepancy between his new agent record name and the former verbatim agent name, just helps to really um, coordinate all that information. If you go back to your search results now uh, and give it a little refresh, it should, within, a few minutes, hopefully, uh, the creator name will get dropped into that column. It takes a little time for it to process, but you can click on any of these records and you can see that your uh, new agent roles have been reconnected and that agent now is connected to those records again. And if you can go to their agent record, their agent activity record, and you can see, yep, there they are. His, uh, his roles have been reestablished and there are those same eight items A in there that he is right in the column. Okay, so that is how you re-agentify verbatim agents and assign their role to a number of records. Thanks for watching.